very hectic, very loosely planned day for today that has changed three times since I woke up this morning. The full premise of using this bike today has not changed. Where I'm going and what I'm doing has. There's a certain level of excitement knowing you have so much to do in one day, first thing in the morning. It has not been this apparent how much I wish that I had put a bike rack on that motorcycle until this time every single year. Will this be the year? Probably not. My follow through is terrible. For lunch break, as far as I understand, there are some dirt jumps hidden in here that I've never been to, but I keep seeing video of them and I really want to ride them. That's a fancy bike. Can you go inside? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy. That's, that is different. Yeah, I don't want to ride this anymore. Well, no, because the front tire has no air in it. Later, uh, it's going to be late. Alright. You go back to work. I'll see you later. Another successful hour away from work for lunch. Do you like dirt jumps? What do you want? Angela built a new garden today on her day off. I consider it the perfect backdrop for bike videos. There has definitely been some interest expressed by a few people in knowing a little bit more about my BMX. And the best way I know how to do that is talk a lot. But first, the ACN live stream is happening in like two minutes or so. So I'm gonna do that first. If you're not already subscribed to my and Russ and Mike's new channel, Alternative Cycling Network, where we will be putting all of our Thursday night, where we will be putting all of our Thursday night live streams, along with hopefully some other original content that wouldn't be on our channels that is going to live there as a communal uh, collaboration between the three of us, possibly with others as well, who knows? And uh, yeah. So, okay, 
Okay, so TLDR of what this actually is, because I know a lot of it's not going to make sense and some of it's going to be somewhat interesting. It is my friend Dan's old, proper, I don't know what model frame with a fork that I'm also not sure what it is because my friend Adam gave it to me with profile racing hubs, which were and are probably the most sought after BMX hub that you can get. I saved up forever as a kid to get these and they are still going strong. I've replaced the bearings and the cassette cog one time only. Uh, besides that, no issues. The bottom bracket is press fit. The stem again is one of these things that I bought when I was like a kid. It works. I like the way it looks. Chrome bars that I bought when I used to travel for BMX contests. Uh, not that I ever did well in them, but we used to do that a lot when we were younger. Drivetrain wise, most interestingly and notably to most everyone on this channel, because we're usually talking about things that aren't BMX, it is left side drive. And the reason that you want to go left side drive is because you see these pegs here with this beat up hub guard, beat up pegs, beat up cranks here, is to take the chain from that area of uh, possible damage and disaster, move it over to the left side where I can't really grind, and it saves the chain and the chain ring from ever really getting too beat up. You will note that there's no brakes on it right now. That is not a normality for me in the world of BMX. I usually have a rear brake on, uh, which leads me into the next part of this video. BMX very much shaped the style of riding I like to do now. It, it made me the kind of rider that I am. It was like my base miles for my entire childhood. A lot of it came, I don't wanna say easy to me, but like it was, fairly second nature and natural. And I do credit an entire life of riding BMX towards being able to handle pretty much any bike that ends up under me. So that of course is a major, absolutely huge upside to riding BMX as a kid. The very big downside is the absolute false sense of security it gave me in my ability to mechanic and wrench on bikes. That is, as I've said in the past, the untrue thought that that a carpenter's hammer and a six millimeter Allen key is all you need to fix all and any bike. Not true. Oh, and uh, another broken spoke here. Three, actually that's not bad, that's pretty good. Three broken spokes on the back of this bike right now, which is not even something that I pay a second mind to. Yeah, the wheels all like messed up and it was rubbing on the brakes. So my solution to that problem was take the brakes off for the time being until more spokes break and I feel the need to rebuild the whole thing and I'll put brakes back on. That is like the epitome of BMX mechanics. So you understand what I mean now. Good bike handling habits, very bad bike mechanics habits. Honestly, I wouldn't really have it any other way. Working at a shop taught me how to do all the other stuff the proper way. It was just a slightly steep learning curve at first. If you ever find yourself truly wanting to improve your bike control and your bike handling skills, I highly, 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 highly recommend trying the world of BMX, like trying to ride a bowl or trying to ride a half pipe or trying to hop up and down things on the street with a BMX or hell, even for that matter, a, a dirt jump mountain bike will work as well. But I very much am of the belief that the skills that you learn riding BMX or riding a dirt jump mountain bike and, and just trying to ride so many different things that they all translate to making you a better, more competent rider in whatever else you decide you wanna ride. Of course, there is differences in bikes geometries and the way they fit, the way they handle, but it's really nothing you can't overcome with a good basis of riding a bike like this and doing the things that these bikes sort of expect you to do on them. Try throwing yourself in some weird BMX situations. It will pay off. Don't get hurt. Oh, and again, subscribe to this channel or ACN. And if you want to support the channel, Patreon, uh, anything you buy through Amazon, through the links below, they, uh, they all go towards contributing to the channel and Ooh, stickers, soon.